Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the standard test signals. So in every system, we need to give some input. That input may be in terms of standard test signals we have a so about the test signals we have to analyze in this session first step signal so step signal is look like this it represents with the u of t and from 0 to t it consisting of the one unit step signal we can name it as step signal is nothing but the, the other name is unit step signal you can, we can we can call it as the unit step signal also right so in this we can write the magnitude like this so always step signal represents with u of t and in this this is the time period if the time period is greater than 0 time period is greater than 0 then the magnitude value is 1. If the time period is less than 0, the magnitude value is 0. If the time period is equal to 0, then the magnitude value is 1 by 2. So sometimes we forgot this 1 by 2. But keep your mind at t equals to 0, the always that the value of the standard test signal value is the 1 by 2. Right. So you know that but here the important thing is this is the Laplace tran this is the signal if you are applying the Laplace transform for the unit step signal we will get the 1 by s yes. 1 by s yes. okay next test signal is ramp signal ramp signal is nothing but the the signal waveform is like this it's from 0 it will be increases that means input follows the output so this is generally represents with r of t so we can write the magnitudes r of t is equals to like this for t greater than 0 time period is greater than 0 then ramp magnitude value is t if t less than 0 uh, if the t less than 0 the magnitude value is the 0 so this is the value okay for for this ramp laplace transform of ramp signal is nothing but generally this is the 1 by s square 1 by s square right next next signal is the parabolic signal parabolic means so it it looks like a parabola slowly increases like this we can write the magnitudes like parabola is like this parabola I will represent with P of T and for T greater than 0 the time period is more than 0 the magnitude value is a T square by 2 and if time period is less than 0 then the magnitude the magnitude will become zero these are the magnitude values of the parabola signal so if you are apply the laplace transform for this parabola signal p of t otherwise laplace transform of a t square by 2 we will get we will get a by s cube we will get a by s cube how it is a by s cube for for laplace transform of t power n equal to n factorial by s power n plus 1 is the formula for laplace transform of a t square by 2 a t square by 2 here n value is 2 so that's why 2 factorial a is the constant no change and uh, by 2 this is s power 2 plus 1 then we will get a by s cube a by s cube right so the Laplace transform is important here why our input and output signals will be converted into the Laplace transform 
the next standard signal is unit impulse look at here this is the unit impulse here at t equals 0 the magnitude of the impulse function is the infinite for t not equals to 0 it will be 0 so always impulse function is represents with del of t here the del of t equals to del of t is represents like this at t equals to 0 at t equals to 0 the magnitude will become infinite at t not equals to 0 the magnitude is become 0 magnitude is become 0 so we can write if you apply the Laplace transform for this impulse function you know that that value is 1 value is 1 so these four are the standard test signals these standard test signals are useful as the input signals in the control system okay right so we will discuss a problem here that is what is the transfer function of a system where input output are related by the following differential equations he given differential equations and he's he is asked to find out the transfer function first write down the given differential equation so given differential equation is d square y by dt square plus 3 into 3 into dy by dt plus 2y u plus du by dt so how this is in differential form but what is transfer function transfer function always in always in s domain so that's why we will apply the laplace transform for this function apply laplace transform for above equation for above equation then d square y by dt square will become s square into y of s dy by dt will become s 3 into s into y of s plus 2 y of t will become y of s plus u become u of s du by dt become s into u of s okay so just common the y of s when we are common the y of s it become s square plus 3s plus 2 so while common the u of s u of s 1 plus s so by looking at this y of s always is the output and u of s maybe you can take it as an input but there is no thing another thing is there that's why i can write the transfer function is y of s by u of s 1 plus s by s square plus 3s plus 2 so this is the transfer function transfer function is nothing but output by input so this is the numerator and this is the denominator so any problem given in differential equations just simply apply the laplace transform then divide then you find out output by input output by input then you will get a equation in s terms the equation in s terms is nothing but the transfer function transfer function so next problem here the another problem is there that is relation between x of t and y of t of a system is given by d square y by dt square equal x into t minus 2 plus d square x by dt square okay what is the transfer function so same thing he has already mentioned relation between x of t and y of t so just given differential equations d square y by dt square equal to x into t minus 2 plus d square x by dt square apply same laplace transform because he is asking to find out the transfer function only 
so by applying the laplace transform what we will get d square y by dt square is s square into y of s x t minus 2 so we have a some formula laplace transform of x of t minus a so by applying laplace transform we will get e power minus a s into x of s x of s okay same like that here also e power minus 2 s by x of s here x is d square x by dt square i can write s square into x of t so so we need to write the relation that's why this is y of s and if you common the x of s not x of t this is x of s sorry x of s and this is e power minus 2s plus s square so what is the transfer function therefore the transfer function equal output by input e power minus 2s plus s square by s square so again if you need to again simplify this we will get e power minus 2s by s square plus 1 so so any equation given in differential form that you should convert into the s domain by applying the laplace transform then you will simply you will find out the simply find out the transfer function that will give the relation between input and output okay so in this session we will discuss about the standard test signal and two problems regarding the differential equations i hope all of you understand the session okay thank you